Okay, so if you want just a simple text countdown that's nothing fancy like the flippers that we just made, uh, it's actually pretty simple. So what you can do is start with a text shape. We're just gonna throw on white. Uh, you know, you can set the font to whatever you want. I'm not really gonna bother with that right now. I'm just making it bigger so we can see. Uh, in our string, click on this little plus and do string generator. Okay. In here, you're gonna change this to time code and you'll see that that by default counts up. Now what's important is to know what your frame rate is. So my comps default at 24, you can use 60, you can use whatever you want. doesn't really matter. You just need to know what the frame rate is. So for this example, I'm going to just set this to 60. And for a five minute timer, you're gonna want 18,000 frames. Okay, so in the string generator, uh, you're going to disconnect this frame node uh, because you don't want it to be counting up from the frames, right? So we'll disconnect that and right click and then you can add a behavior or actually add math. So you're gonna add a math node. In this math node, the first number that you want is the total amount of frames, which we just said was 18,000, okay? And then you're going to subtract the frame. So here on the second value, you can right click, add behavior, frame. So now it's gonna take the frame in here and subtract it from your final, which is five minutes, and that just makes it count down. And so that's just a real time counting down timer based on the amount of frames in your comp. You might not want all of these digits because like who actually wants all of those digits. So what you can do is in your string generator, you're going to add a manipulator and set it to resize string. Okay. Now just kind of move this up until you get the, you're moving this up and you're basically deleting the digits on the right. So I'm going to move it to here and then you just duplicate this. And then in the second one, you just click erase from start. Uh, you, if you duplicate it, you still need to actually like reconnect it. So just connect that back in to a new index. And so now you can see that you can cut off whatever you want. And you've got yourself a super quick timer that you can format however you want using just text. So that is it for the simple text-based timer. Comment down below what you want me to make my next tutorial on, or if you have a question about this setup and like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.